What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs day number 1519. Coming at you once again with another brand new video. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you my friends are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump on into this Triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. All right. So uh, we got Bill over here. And uh, this is what Bill had to say. All right, so all you dashers out there, listen up. Hey, Pete, Bill again. You only get to pause the DoorDash app 35 minutes once a day, now here in Seattle, Washington. So you take the first time, so you pause the first time, use 10 minutes, let's say. The next time you pause, you only have 25 minutes remaining. Take 10 minutes the next time you only get 15 minutes, etc. So now you can't pause to do a Grubhub trip because your pause will be gone on DoorDash. There is no way to stop. This is their way to stop multi-apping. And Bill, when I first read this initially, right off the bat, I was like, they don't want uh, Dash is being paused so that you can go off and do a Grubhub or an Uber Eats order. And <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll say this, DoorDash, when I first discovered them, I was like, wow, they actually give you the option to pause your Dash. That's pretty cool. Because on Grubhub, I never had the opportunity to pause, you know, my, my block. I could just go unavailable for like 10 or 15 minutes if I needed a break. But then if you go over that time, they'll drop your block. That's how it's always been. But nowadays, I just go online, you know, and, and I'm able to get orders because when you are in a relatively busy market, it sometimes doesn't even really matter. But it used to. You used to have to be on block in order to really get the good, uh, like the better payouts. Anyway, that's a whole different story. Going back to this. Um, the fact that he says you only get to pause the DoorDash app 35 minutes once a day now here. Now, <clears throat> I will say this. He is in Seattle, Washington, okay? There, you know, other markets may be a completely different story. Like in my market, this might not be in play yet. Like I've said a million times, and I will continue to keep saying it like a broken record, is every market is different. Therefore, what works in mine or what someone gets in theirs may not happen in mine right away. You know, they roll things out slowly in different places just to see, you know, how it controls things and how it works things, you know, to their advantage. I hate to say it, but they're trying to micromanage uh, the drivers and dashers more and more. So are all the apps because <clears throat> they are trying so hard to, uh, you know, not cross the line between independent contractor and employee, but I feel like they do it in so many ways anyway. You know what I mean? Like how Uber Eats started that thing where, you know, you, it only says like your delivery pickup is only two minutes away. It's nine minutes away, but it doesn't say the restaurant. It doesn't say for the amount. It doesn't say this. You know what I mean? Like a painter, a plumber, an electrician, a tradesman would want to know what they're getting paid before they do a job. You know what I mean? And where they have to go and stuff, you know, where they have to pick up supplies and where they, where they have to do the job, you know, like, I feel like that's important information. And now they're, they're, they're dividing the line here. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're really, they're really pushing their buttons or, you know, taking their chances here. Uh, what's going to end up happening is more laws are going to come into play and more, um, you know, class action lawsuits and stuff between drivers and dashers. And, you know, to be perfectly honest, they're bringing it on to themselves. So I don't know. So everybody, let me know your thoughts down below on this whole thing. Are you experiencing this 35 minute pause where it just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping so that you can no longer pause? Uh, so you can no longer multi-app, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're going to keep tweaking things until they get it you know, to where they're in complete control, it's just the way of the world. So 
Let me know down below what you guys think about that. And of course, if you have anything you ever want to share with me, a comment, a topic, a story, an article, whatever you have, send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can message me on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. So uh, anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So I'm gonna do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey Pete, I heard my name. So we've got John Birchfield. <clears throat> Whoops, wrong paper. John Birchfield, David Moore, Angela Counts McCarty, Steel United 111, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, Ginny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, Rebecca Swenson, and that's everybody for right now. So if you guys want to check it out, links down below. Who's going to be the next patron? I don't know. Let's find out. Maybe it'll be you. And with that being said, everybody, uh, I hope you're all saving lots of money on the free gas app called Get Upside. The link is in the description down below. Uh, look for where it says Get the Free Gas app. Click on that. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you have. Then from there, you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, <clears throat> and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description down below. Make sure to go check that out. And of course... Check this out, paytodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. That's right, everybody. Links down below. Uh, so check it out. We've got lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day, paytodrivestore.com. Links in the description of the pinned top comment, of course. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end 337 E N D 337 just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked L I K E D just so I know you did it. And until next time, everybody, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Later.